Hey guys, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do every single Merlin trial type. Every type of challenge that Merlin trials will throw at you, I'm gonna show you how to solve them. But first, the best way to find them is to actually fly around the map, use Revelio, and find that leaf icon that shows the Merlin trial thing on your map because they don't always show in your map. All right, so let's start out with the first type of Merlin trial. The first one over here that I'm just, you know, putting in random order is one where you start it and you see three of these pods. They'll be in different areas, sometimes just out of range, and you have to use Confringo to light them on fire, but you will most likely need to be close enough to all of them. So you might have to shoot two of them and then run to the third one in order to pass on. So you basically just have to light them on fire. Confringo will be your spell of choice here and you'll have to be as fast as you can because once the timer ends, sometimes the, the pots will all unignite and you have to start again. The next trial is one where you'll see these little like pumpkin heads on pillars and there's normally nine of them. Sometimes they're grouped into threes, like three in one location, three in another location, and three in the final location. But once you destroy all nine of them, you will be able to complete the trial. The next Merlin trial requires a bowl and a pit. You might have to search the area because sometimes it's not super close by. Like you can see this one is a little bit away here. So here's the pit. You can see it highlighting in blue. So Revelio is going to be your friend here as for most of the game. Once you find the bowl here, you have multiple ways of getting it into the pit. Your goal is to get it into the pit, but Wingardium Leviosa is going to be your best bet. Otherwise you can use Akio and Depulso to just like move this thing around. You just got to get it into the pit and the trial will be complete. The next one here is about the butterflies and the moonstones. There's these rocks here, there's three of them. They all have moonstones in them and you need to collect butterflies using Lumos, these green butterflies that you'll find around in the area. So just look out for the, the green little floating things. And now you just have to deliver them to each rock so that they can basically kind of like inhabit the rock or something. And that's gonna help you complete the trial. So just look around for those butterflies. The next Merlin trial type is the one with the three little sections on the ground here with like the four holes in it and you have to lead a bunch of balls into it, right? So, so what you have to do is use like Akio once you find these little balls and then the balls just kind of like follow you. Even if you just drag one, it's fine. You just need one. Um, sometimes the others will be bugged and you might only have two, but if you get one of the thing, the others will just like teleport out of thin air and pop into place. So you just got to go grab all the different balls and kind of just lead them into these kind of like holes and they will just like stick in there. It's, it's, it's really simple in that fact, but you'll always find three of them. So all of the puzzles I found with these Merlin trials with these ones, it's always three sets of this and then three sets of balls that you just gotta search for that blue glow after using Revelio in the, in the area. I hope that helps. The next Merlin trial is probably the easiest one. Again, we're using Confringo, which is a blasting spell to blast all of these rocks here. So your, your job here is to do basically blow up all of these different blue rocks that you can see. You just got to get them all. Sometimes, obviously, you just need to be a little bit closer. But once you destroy all of them, and I believe there's normally five, you will be completed. The next Merlin trial is what I call the parkour stones. You'll basically see a bunch of stones and you have to jump on each of them without ever touching the ground. So like for this one in particular here, I'm going to start this side. Once you stand on the stone, it does that. You have to make sure you don't fall off because if you touch the real ground, you have to start over again, which can be super, super annoying. Some of these can get really tricky, but other than that, you just have to touch all of them and the trial is complete. The next Merlin trial is super simple. Once you start it, like these three statues will break down. There are three of them. All you have to do is use Reparo and it will basically fix the statue. Then you got to find the other two so you may just have to search the area a little bit for these, like all of these trials, sometimes they might be a little bit further away, but they'll generally be within reason. So sometimes you might just have to fly around, use Revelio, look for the blue glow until you can find it. And that's how you're gonna finish this trial. Okay, so we keep the hardest one for last because this is probably the most complicated one. It's also not a very common one. I've probably only seen like two or three of them. Now this is the, the symbol dice, right? So you'll find three of these little pillars thing with the dice at the top of it. You're gonna use the spell Flipendo and you have to make the icon at the top match the icon at the bottom in the exact same orientation using Flipendo to flip this kind of cube around, right? So we've got this one over here on this side, but we need it to be in the front here. So what we're gonna do at the top here is we're gonna get this thing over straight above so it needs to be in line on this one here so what we're gonna do is flip it from the side so you're just gonna have to find one side here flip it again there that should be fine and now we know it's on the top so we have to flip it like this until it rotates around enough time so that it's here but you can see it's not in the correct orientation so again we go to the side here to rotate the orientation to get it to line up like this looks like another two times one and two and that's how you should be able to complete that one 
All right, so if you don't fully understand yet, I'm gonna run through it one more time with this other pillar here. Now I'm just gonna rotate this one until I find a symbol that matches one on either of the sides here. I'm still not seeing one. Okay, cool, that one matches the one in the front here. You can see this one here matches the one right in the front. So what we're gonna do is use this to get it right to the top there. So you can see it rotates to the top. And then we're gonna flip this three times and it will get it here. And now we just have to rotate it from the side again until it's on the right side. You'll see when you flip, it always flips over instead of under. But it might just take a little bit of practice to get used to. It's probably the trickiest one I've encountered so far in the game. I hope you guys have good luck with this. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps.